So today I'm going to work with my friend Ryan again. Hello. And, and we're going to show you some potato salad. A very simple, quick potato salad. So what we've got here is we have a cutting board for you with a bunch of radishes on it. All right, Ryan, yep. I'm going to show you how to cut these radishes. Oh, Take yeah? this knife in your hand like this. Uh -huh. And what I always do is I oh. always hold the radish oh, with shoot. my left hand. Okay. And then I take the knife. Yep. There you go. Take your fingers around the edges. Oh, yeah. Hold on. There you go. I always, I always do it like this with two fingers so that yeah, that's you can't possibly be cut. Yeah, that that's you can't perfect. possibly cut yourself. But look, look what you're doing here. Right. You're tilted. You have to make sure you get there. You go perfect. Right. Go straight down to the cutting board. Yep. Excellent. And then the other side, same thing. Right? Exactly. So you want to just take those ends off and hand them to me, and I will throw them in the compost for you. Well, hold on a second. You got one end of them, but don't reach for the other because the sharp. No, I am now there. keeping my hands away from your cutting board. There we go. The other one has become lost in the fun, so we'll just let that just happen. Here you go. I got you it. It's one. in my hand already. Oh, okay. What? Oh. I, I snuck it away when you were cutting it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, let's do another one, and right. then we'll move on to the next step for everyone. Yep. Okay, so here we go. Gonna, so I'll, I'll let that be seen by the camera. I'm just there gonna, you go. Yep. yep. And then. Uh, Grab the other side here. And again, just snipping this little guy off. And here they are. Thank you, I'll take those from you. Yep. All right, we'll be back in a moment. All right, now we're gonna cut up a shallot. And you're gonna take this shallot I have for you. Mm. You're gonna peel it first. I'm gonna shallot. You're gonna shallot the shallot. Very good, Ryan. Okay, so let me get the top off, just like the radish, right? So just like the idea. radish, take off, the, take off the end, yep. and if you don't cut all the way down, it makes it easier. Oh to yeah, because you can pull the yeah. Yeah, there you that. go. Well, that just happens to come off like, like take it off wrapping paper. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna just peel that shallot now, Ryan. Cut off well, those ends. I already got the first end, but funny enough, all the paper came, well, all the all the wrapping came off. Yep. The first one pulled off, now the second one's up pulled off, but there's no wrapping left, and we we are done. That's, this is it. Okay, so. so give me those wrappings. I'll compost those. Yep, those are all, uh, well, watch your hands, because there's a knife there. Yep, and then I'm just this. holding my hands here for you to put those in my hand. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. That came off really nice and easy. Let's take a look at that. I don't trust. It's perfect. <laughs> Not. You don't trust me? To no, cut? I don't trust you, because look, there is still paper. If you run your finger along the seam there, you yeah. see that you don't actually have yep. a perfect seam. Uh -uh -uh. So you're just going to take uh -uh. the tip of your knife. And go up under there. Oh, wait. Yep. I don't even need a tip Oh, there you knife. go. Perfect. That's just okay. A, oh, look at that. Hold yeah. on. Look at that. Okay, hold on. Ooh, wait. There's more. And, and the reason I didn't trust you, Ryan, is because you didn't hand me enough stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's okay. You were right not to trust me, clearly. <laughs> look at that. There's a lot more to this thing. So to describe this for anybody who can't see this, it turns out that a shallot, if you've never handled one before or rarely do and therefore forget like I did they split in half sometimes they do and they're unlike an onion yeah they're relatives of the onions but they're usually in cloves but they're giant cloves so like our garlic it's has, like a yeah, garlic gar onion hybrid yeah and yeah. It's, it's you'd call it a garlic on steroids because it's yep. usually only two to three cloves at most in this case this one appears to be two yes Thank you. but funny enough there's well this is where the thing gets interesting. So you can start to peel it there, but it would peel off some of yep. the actual shallot. And that's what that's you want to do because that outer stuff is actually bitter. And even this not... stuff's bitter? Yeah. So really? you just want to do that. You're just going to yeah. peel all that away. Okay. Because it, it's, you that's want that awesome. clean, fresh, young peel. Oh, or okay. You just shallot the... underneath. Oh, I see. So the first layer, you just kind of go yeah. by. Okay. Oh, look at that. Ooh, and now it's starting to remind me of peeling an onion in that here comes the smells. That's that's a good clue there, Ryan, that yep, the smell will help you know smells. when it's done. Hold on a second. Now at the top on this one, I'm actually going to use my knife to slice away just a bit more. There you go. To get access. You see how to your it. knife is your friend? Of course. Mm. Hold on. How picky. It Hold is on. very picky. No, I'm trying to pick at it and it's not picking. <laughs> Hold on. Here, I'll do the second <laughs> clove for you if you Hold hand on. that Hold to on. me. Hold on. I got it. There we go. See there. Oh yeah, now we're going. <laughs> That's Hold it. On. There we go. Practice oh, yeah. makes perfect, Ryan. Well, I feel like some of this was actually edible. Some of this isn't. 
Uh, it's tough. See, look. See, it's some tough. of that's edible. It, it, it is, but it's tough. So, right. you know, and since we're going to be eating this raw, we don't want tough. All right. Okay, that's perfect. I'm going to just lay that flat on the cutting board for you. You've got both of them here. Yep. Oh, I found a top of a radish that we missed. Whoops. Okay. Watch, that. Watch out for the pan. So now, all you're going to do is take one of these in your hand. Yep. And, and go slice, 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 slice. Yep. And you're going to put them in our bowl of potatoes, which is... Oh, no, you're not going to do that yet. Not yet. I forgot. Huh. I left something to show people a secret. There's a secret? Yes. So I didn't have red skin potatoes. I only had russet potatoes. And the secret I want to show you is the fast and easy way of peeling without using a potato peeler. Wow. So what I did was I quartered my potatoes, made the nice little pieces. Here, I'm going to show you what a piece feels like. Aha. Uh -huh. And you're going to feel that. Feel how, how smooth it is all yeah, the way you're around? Peeled. This one's already yes. peeled. Yes. Yeah. But I left two of them here for us to peel uh, okay to show people the secret of how to peel it if you boil without a vegetable it peeler? without a vegetable peeler when you boil it the peel you just pinch with your fingers oh look at that isn't that cool yeah that is pretty cool and you don't have to like cut yourself with the potato peeler so i Ooh, showed you one i've that. got a second Except, guess what now it's now it's on my fingernails oh well ryan <laughs> getting dirty is what cooking is all about here's another one for you no, that sounds like a good channel name. What? Getting dirty is what cooking's all about? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I've got two more here for you to peel. You can just hand me right. the peels when you've well, done here's that. Here's this. Well, I was going to hand you the potato. Yeah, there it goes. There back go. into the bowl of potatoes. So there we go. See, isn't that a nice, easy way of peeling potatoes? Well, kind of. Uh, oh, wait. Aha. Hold on. So here's skin. And it left a Unfortunately, it left a Hold on, I can take off the middle. Yep, there we go. Just scrape it off. That's it. Though I'm there sure, I'm sure this is tasty too, though. Uh, since it's a russet, it's pretty gritty. It tastes yeah. like tastes like dirt. Ugh. The skin. All right. If this was a red skin, those would not. Uh, I, I wouldn't even bother removing them. No, red skin or yellow potatoes. So okay, here's the thing. Check that out. You think I got? I think I got most of that off. I think you did a beautiful job. Oh, good. See, audience, he's got all the peel off. Hopefully. Okay. All right. Last one there for you. Yeah, uh, let's get this stuff off. Okay. Oh, this one's almost like a cheat. It is really like a cheat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I it wanted took to some of the It took a little bit of the potato with it, but it's okay. But when you peel with a yeah. peeler, you're also yeah, taking, you're taking an awful the lot more, water. honestly. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so there's our three. All right, you're going to now yep. slice up those shallots. Yep. How thin do you want them? Um, as thin as you get? You want to be able to tell when you're biting into it. So maybe... Here, check out, the, check out these slices so far. Oh, those are really tiny. Yeah. How thin do you want it? If you can do that, you can do that, but I can even, you can even go thicker. Oh, okay. Very nice, Ryan. Good job. There you go. I'm going to move the potato bowl closer to you so you can just put those right in. I tasted the shallot. They're delicious. Mm. All right, so Ryan did an excellent job of these shallots. They're cut in perfect half moons. And he argued with me, and he was right, that we should probably break them apart in the bowl because he did such a great job. They're sticking together. Yeah. So I just want to show these perfect half moons he did. It's almost like you used a mandolin, Ryan. Yep. You, you, I don't... How did you get them so even, my friend? Uh, You're a good slicer. Let me suggest that yeah. I would prefer to use a, a paring knife over a mandolin. <laughs> Yeah. Because I've sliced myself with a mandolin before, so yes. I prefer, <laughs> I'd rather do it right with a knife than use that tool. Right. As after. I am now transferring your radishes back on the cutting board for you to do the same action to them. Okay. Well, hold on, I'm not done with all these. I know. So I got some I'm just putting them incoming along the top. shots. Yeah. Move this knife out of the way so fingers don't end up, you know, okay. part of the... I'll take the second thing. knife here and I'll... Oh, careful there. Yep. 
All right, so just slice up your radishes there. And they don't have to be even, they can be uh, various different widths, she says, because she's not cutting them evenly. Right. Mm. Ah, see, watch. Oh, don't they smell watch. good? I love the smell of radish. Right. So the thing to know about radishes is that you really need to make sure they're very, very clean. Yeah. Radishes come from the grocery store muddy. Gross. And if you pick them from the garden yourself, of course they're coming out muddy. It wouldn't be a good radish if it were muddy. No, it wouldn't be. These are the hard things to cut, Ryan. Everything else is going to go really fast from now on. We are almost done this recipe. Right. You're just... not my friend right now. Okay, there we go. I'm not your friend right no, now. No, this, this radish. <laughs> so, what you want to end up with, for proportion-wise, is you want about half a cup of radishes. You don't want your whole salad to be radish but you want to occasionally have that nice, crisp texture come out of the dish. And you just kind of grab it on your fork and it's just this lovely bite with that nice, spark, sharp, spicy radish. All right, Ryan, so we've now gotten rid of our cutting board and we're going to do our last simple task of adding some boiled egg. Hard boiled egg is one of my mm. favorite ingredients. A lot of people don't like that. Okay. And I'm going to hand you an egg slicer here. Ah, look at that guy. And do you want to describe that? You just got my finger in it there, buddy. Mmm. <laughs> Slice that finger. <laughs> uh, so the way that this thing works, it kind of feels, uh, it's, it's a grated thing that's round. So imagine a uh, Imagine a, a round, I would describe it like if you've ever walked over a, uh, if, you've, if you've got central air, it's sort of like that where it's got the, the ridges. Ooh, and so it goes right on, the egg will go right on through there. And on the bottom is something that actually has receptacles for each uh, slot. So that as you push these through, it guarantees you're pushing the egg all the way through. So I imagine I know what to do with this. Just just as a guess. I will hand you an egg. I get, yep. We have eight of them. So my guess is you put it like in this. Hold on. So yeah. Take a look. Very good, Just Ryan. like that. Just like that. And you just go. Scissor it together. Squish. And then tip it upside down. Yep. And there you go. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. It creates these neat thin slices. All right. You can slice this with a knife too, but why not? So someone might be asking, why didn't you just do that with the shallots? Because the shallots are too hard and would not go through evenly through yep. the slicer. Yep. And those would be too thick of a slice. Also, potentially, the breakage. Yeah. Shall we tell everyone that we broke one egg slicer already today? Yes, one has been sacrificed for your entertainment. Yes. <laughs> All right, so slice oh, away. There we go. Good. Slicey okay. dump. And the best thing to do is that you go fast and snappy. Yeah. So the egg doesn't crumble as you're going through. Yeah. We'll start it and yeah. There you go. Good work. All right. Uh, I see what you mean by the crumbly part, because what'll occur is it'll get uh Yeah, the yolk. The, the yolk, yolk is going crumbly. Yeah. And now we're gonna add some olives, and you do the same thing with the olives. Slice them like this? Slice oh that's it. Okay. well I guess they are soft, so womp. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cool idea, actually. Look at mm -hmm. that. Oh, and if I put them in the right direction, wait, wait, no, that's the wrong direction. If you put them on their side where the holes line up, you'll, you'll get a really cool thing going there. So there mm -hmm. we go. Oh, oh, that's cool. Ryan's being artistic now. All right, we'll come back in a moment when we finish slicing everything. All right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, egg slicer that Ryan is using there because there are a couple of different ones on the market that you can buy and I really like this style. There's ones that have, instead of these bars, here Brian, yeah, let's, yeah. let's demonstrate those. So these bars right here, if you turn at an angle, you'll see that these are the, the whole width of the slicer. They have like guitar wires. 
I don't like those ones because the guitar wires crack or split really quickly. So if you get one, you know, make sure it has really solid metal bars that are yeah, in place. If you place. look at it from this angle, you can probably see there. So yeah, yeah they're, they're sharper on this side. Yeah. And then they're, they're thicker on the top, just like knives. It's basically a bunch of parallel knives. Yeah. And the wires do work, but they break really quickly. Yep. I've had this egg slicer now for probably 20 years. And the, the one that broke, I think I've had for the same amount of time. So the difference between the two of them is one was smaller. So we're just using the bigger one now. And we're now going to do our last step, which is the dressing. So Ryan, I want you to take the olive oil that is to your left. Mm -hmm. And I just want you to tip it in lightly. Uh, you're gonna, I'm gonna just show oh, yeah. you. Let's put the lid on. I'll show you what you need oh, to do. Oh, you prefer? Oh. To, 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 to show you. Ah. Okay. Yes. So you're gonna go quick. Oh, just kind of quick. Quick, yeah. quick. Okay. Yeah. Yep, right. yep, yep. There we go. Yeah, but you can never have too much oil, can you? Yes. Oh. Okay. It would taste greasy and Hold disgusting. On. There. I don't, wait, I don't think anything came out. Let's see. Hold on. No, you're right. So hold on. Nope. Glug. One. Glug. Good. There you go. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just check. Yeah, that's I'm sure enough. that's fine. All right. So we've got just a little bit. If you want to be precise for the home viewers, it's about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And anybody watching from who makes this? Is this Costco Kirkland brand? It is Kirkland yeah. brand, but is there extra virgin? It's the better one of the two that yeah. they sell. I recommend having a cap that stops. Wouldn't that be nice? Awesome. <laughs> because it just keeps twisting and you never know when it's actually tight because it's, it's never tight. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hey, there's a grinder here. Should I use this? You should use that pepper, yes. Ah, okay. And just hold it over the bowl. Of course. I say that because I've done the. Yeah, there you go. And just grind away. And we like pepper in this house. You're going to do that until you're starting to smell it? Yep. Let's do a little bit more. There you go. Back I think that's forth. enough. Oh no, okay. A little mm. more. Mm. There you go. If you want about a half a teaspoon for I'm again sure for those measure freaks. I'm sure that's at least half a teaspoon. I guess I no, can't I say so. measure freaks. So. You yeah. want about a half a teaspoon for those people who want to measure. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. And then for the salt, I'm assuming fill up this spoon to the brim, right? Yes, and that is a half tablespoon of salt. Okay, I've got a half tablespoon of salt and it goes in there. All right, we've just added some salt. All right, Ryan, I'm going to give you a fork. I want you to whip that up a bit with this fork. Ah, there you go. Okay. And now. We're going to add mustard. And I have a picnic style mustard jar here. Uh, I don't know what kind it is. It's a pretty big one. I don't think it's Dijon. It's, it's Costco. Everything in this house yes. is Costco. <laughs> I'm going to get you to squeeze that three times into there. Okay. After it's blopped down to the exactly, top. Exactly. Yes. So hold on. Blop and then one. Ooh. There you go. Hold on. Let's not get mustard on ourselves. Huh? Okay. Shake it a little bit yep. to make it blop down again. Okay. Two. Oh no, that could be really bad if we keep going there. Okay. And three. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now whip that together with the olive oil. Okay. Do you feel the mustard in the bowl? Oh yeah, it's thick. Good. So hold on, okay. we'll wait till it thins out here. Hold on, just whip. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just whisking it. Mm -hmm. Making sure it gets broken up pretty good. There you go. You've got the hang of it there. You've made dressings before, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> we never make use store-bought dressings anymore. We always use homemade dressing. Okay, that should be right. sufficient. Yep, seems good. And here we have a giant star jar of mayonnaise. Okay. You're gonna take this cup here. And dunk it in there. And the cup is completely clean, so yep. you're gonna just go dunk it right in. Oh God. And you know the way this jar has shoulders? Yeah. You're going to dunk the entire cup all the way down, oh, yeah. all the way down, and yep. then scrape it up against the shoulders mm -hmm. as you come up. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, but do you want it heaping? Yes. You no, want... you don't want it heaping. You just want it smooth. Oh, okay. So hold on. Yep. That might be, well, okay. Yes, that's perfect. Oh, that's a cup of mayonnaise. 
as a cup of mayonnaise. <laughs> wow, okay, now hold on. Let's see if we can get that to blop out easily or, you know what? This is, this is one You're gonna use your fork. Mm -hmm. I am gonna use my fork. Because now you're not gonna contaminate the jar. You're gonna use your fork. And then I'm gonna show you another trick. And I'm gonna contaminate the, well, the spoon can be contaminated at yes. this point. So. Okay. Because if we want more mayonnaise, we're not going to be using an if entire done, cup more. If so. I had done this a different way, I would have been less sloppy. This is so quite sloppy. I'm going to show you another trick here. I showed this in another one of my videos, but I'm going to show you now. If you take your fork. Hold on. It, I'm, I'm now mayonnaise hand. Wait, wait. If you take your fork. Yeah. The tines of the fork fit around the edge of this cup. Look at this. No. And you just go straight all the way around it. But that doesn't get the giant bulk of the... It doesn't get the giant bulk of it. I'll show you another trick for that in a minute. Okay. Hi. Well, you think you've gotten all you can with the fork? Yeah. Am I? Shut this up. No, people like this stuff. <laughs> okay, now that you think you've gotten a majority that you can with the fork, mm -hmm. With your hand, uh -huh. reach into the potato bowl. Oh, I see. We're Not working. anything else. You need to grab a potato. Oh, I see what you're saying. And wipe the cup off with one potato. If that's not Hold enough, on. take another one. I'm looking for a potato. <laughs> no, it's potato. kind of hard here. I'll dig out some Hold on. Potatoes. There's all the other stuff's on the bottom. They're on the bottom now. Yep, that's oh, fine. I see what you're getting at. Do, 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 do. Those are too soft to actually scrape that cup down. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, that was probably, uh, hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can take that cup away from you. You Hold don't up. need to have all of it. I mean, At this point, my hands are clean. Did you put potatoes in the bowl? In the, the... Ah, <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Ryan. Well, it's out now. It's back in the other spoon thing. Spoon might have worked. Oh, yeah, the spoon might have worked. Okay. All right. <sighs> so you think you got the whole cup taken care of there? Yeah, and my hand. I'll take care of the cup. All I'm right. gonna wash my hand. Okay, I'm gonna go pause. wash my hand. <laughs> all right, Ryan, so you have a mess of olive oil, mayonnaise, mustard, salt. And it's all gonna get stirred up now. All gonna get stirred up. And the reason you do that in the little bowl is first of all, to get it evenly mixed. Yep. Then also to, um, you know, measure it properly and taste it before you add it to your potatoes. Mm. Okay, that sounds like it's all mixed up. Well, just, just a little more, just a little more on the edges, just to kind of push. I know I kind of mayonnaise the sides. So yeah, yeah, there that we happens. Go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. All right, and now you're just going to put it in the bowl. But do we not want to? Make sure it actually tastes right first. <laughs> Way to catch me, Ryan. So I'm just gonna hand you a potato here. Oh, you are. Hand you a potato okay. there. Got just it. Dip yeah, it in on. the dressing. Mm. Yep. And taste it. Making sure not to put your fingers in your mouth. Obviously. What do you think? Now, remember it's gotta be stronger than you think it should be on the salad. Pretty good. You like it? Yeah. All right. Dump it in the bowl. Okay. Dinner's ready. Well, I got to do something else with this potato, so I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed you just ate it, Ryan. <laughs> no, I ate part of it. I mean, otherwise I would have just tasted potato and none of the. So if, if different. If the flavor was off, you could adjust before you put it in your salad. Get in there. All right, and I'm going to grab you a rubber spatula to make sure you get it all out of that bowl. Now the fork is only doing so much. There we go. I'll set the fork. Well, I'm going to set the fork so on the, the side. Bowl. Yeah, yep, in, in the, the bowl. bowl. There you and go. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> all right. There we go. And I'll take the dirty bowl from you when you think you're done. I think I'm done. And you're just going to stir this up now. Hey, am I done? With your fork. I'm done. Okay. Now that you're done, I'm going to take the spatula away. I'm going to take 
bowl away and you're gonna just stir that with a fork gently. The whole thing. The whole thing. I feel like it's I feel like this would be very helped by tongs. No, because that would crush the potatoes. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you're just going to go from the bottom. Yeah, scoop up. There you yeah. go. That's the way. Until you push it right over the side of the bowl. That's why you keep yeah, one yeah, hand yeah, yeah, in I the know. direction that you're going. There I'm you go. I'm aware. Because, you know, what a mess you could make. Yeah. Mmm, sounds nice and gloppy. And we can always toss more afterwards when yep. we serve, so. Let's not bore everybody with all the flippings. So other things you can put in this is I've had people put pickles in. I've had people put bits of bacon in. Mm. Um, you can put celery in. I hate celery, so we don't put celery in. Why do you hate celery? I think celery is, tastes like soap. Like soap? <laughs> like soap, yeah. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try it. Please click subscribe and don't forget to like the video if you did. And let us know what you want to cook next.